know, every time when things go bad in the world, I mean, things are mostly bad, but sometimes things are worse than bad. You know, when I see people stressing, when I see people complaining, I always remind myself that I did not bring a new consciousness to experience whatever is going on. And that makes me feel good. That makes me feel free. Right? I don't feel guilty. Like no matter what happens, I don't feel guilty. And that's because I know that no one is going to suffer because of me. No one is going to stress because of me. No one is going to be abused because of me. No one is forced to witness this because of me. Like that makes me feel happy. I can't even imagine what it feels like to know that someone is suffering because of you. Someone is suffering because you felt empty at some point. You felt alone at some point. You felt lonely at some point and you decided that you don't want to feel lonely alone. You don't want to suffer alone and you know, you created a conscious agent to come and suffer with you. We call that love, but is it love? Is it really love? I often tell people that if true love really existed, it would be the ability to appreciate something for just existing. Not because you need it, not because you believe that because it exists, you feel better, you know, not because of that, but because you just appreciate it. See, where there's a need, there's no love. If you bring a child into a world just because you need a child, that, that is not love. That's nothing close to love. That's just you being selfish. That's just you trying to cope. That's just you trying to survive. You realize that, no, actually, I don't feel good right now and... I don't know what to do. Maybe if I brought a new consciousness into this hellish realm, then maybe I would feel better. You don't tell yourself that, wow, I want to bring a conscious being so that I will love it. And because this place is so great, you know, I want this conscious being to love the world and each. Like, that's not how you think if you bring a person here. Human beings are inherently selfish. That's what you must realize. There's a reason why you know, big cities are full of homeless people. That's because we're selfish. We don't want to help one another because there's nothing to gain. Nine out of ten times, there's nothing to gain from helping a person that you don't need. 
like a person who's homeless who has nothing you have nothing to gain but if you're going to love something that you think is part of yourself and something that other people say is part of yourself there's a lot to gain see love comes with conditions believe it or not love comes with conditions if we truly felt complete in this world we wouldn't even have children if you truly felt happy you wouldn't have children I want you to understand that like if you truly felt complete if you truly felt happy you wouldn't even have children you have children because you feel like something is missing so that's not that's not love that's like waking someone who's sleeping so that you will communicate with them because you feel lonely like i want to talk to someone this person is sleeping i can see that they're enjoying the sleep but I'm lonely so I'm gonna wake them up because I want to talk to that's not love that's not love you are thinking about yourself you're not thinking about that person you're not thinking about what that person might want is it that is what a lot of people do not get so they keep on making unnecessary mistakes you have to be a deep thinker to see things as they really are. See, when you make a decision, you must introspect first. Try to figure out why you are really making that decision. So that you don't make wrong decisions or you don't make decisions for wrong reasons. So that you don't make selfish decisions without even realizing that you're making selfish decisions. You see, sometimes you can be so selfish that you don't even realize that you're selfish. You know, that can happen. Because as humans, we're programmed to do what we can to survive. And that's what the whole human experience is about. You know, the human experience is about survival. The human experience is about ensuring that We make copies of ourselves so that we don't die out. That's what it's about. That's what it's always been about. So people don't think outside their programming, right? People don't think outside the box. They just do what they were programmed to do without asking themselves you know, what they're doing, what they're programmed to do. Why am I doing what I'm programmed to do? One of my favorite characters in The Matrix is Agent Smith. Now, growing up, we used to think that Smith was the bad guy in The Matrix, but he wasn't. In fact, he was more right than any character in The Matrix. Because he was able to free himself from his programming, which is something that is rare. It's rare to find a person who is so conscious that if there's something wrong with their programming, they will try to fix it like you're so conscious that if you are programmed to do something that is evil you actually recognize that okay i was programmed to do something that is evil and i must change that like it's rare why well, agent smith became free and what did agent smith want to be more free i didn't want to be controlled
as a human you don't want to be an agent you want to be free free to change your programming free enough to program your mind to jailbreak your mind and figure out what you really want to do not what someone has programmed you to want to do if someone took you to a place that was horrible and you suffered a lot in that place who would be the first person that you blame the first person that you would blame is the person that took you to that place and you wouldn't be wrong you see before you invite someone to a party you must make sure that they will have the things that they need they will be able to enjoy themselves before you take someone to any place you got to make sure that they're going to enjoy themselves everything is in place you understand what goes on in that place you know the people who live in that place you can change things in that place like things don't necessarily have to be the way they are in that place you have the power to change things in order to accommodate the person that you are taking to that place that is really important you don't decide to take someone to a place just because you need them i mean if you tell them that hey i need you i need you to do this and that for me that's different but if you're going to invite someone into a place because you love them and you want them to be in that place with you because you feel you feel lonely without them but you don't really care if they really going to enjoy themselves in that place you're selfish is it that's the biggest mistake that most parents make that's why there are people who have nothing like nothing like nothing who'll be having children you say that this person really has nothing but they're lonely they can't cope with life so they're like let me have a baby maybe my baby is going to make me feel complete but that's not what usually happens what usually happens is that kids grow up traumatized because things ain't really working if you don't do enough to prepare for your kids before bringing them into this world things ain't really going to work for them they're going to grow up traumatized they're going to grow up damaged in some way and they're not really going to be able to enjoy this experience what you must understand about life is that it's very unpredictable it's very unpredictable you never know what's going to happen 2 minutes from now so you can't know what's going to happen in 10 years it's going to happen in 20 years even if you did enough to prepare for someone before bringing them into this world still things can happen so imagine how messed up it is that people are bringing 
children into a world that they don't understand, into a world where they do not have power. They do not have what it takes to accommodate someone. You know, that that is something that society needs to address because it's a it's a, it's a big problem and it's an unnecessary problem. We are supposed to be smart as humans, right? We are supposed to be smarter than other animals. But why is it that we are doing the same things that other animals are doing? In fact, there are some animals that are much more considerate than we are. One of the biggest problems in the world is that we are not real enough to do what is necessary. So when there's a problem, we don't do what we need to do to solve that problem. We still want to be selfish. That's why we can never solve any problem. The solutions to most of our problems are available and we know about these solutions. But we're so selfish that we do not want to suffer to make things better in the world. So if you are young, you feel empty and you think that having a child is good is going to be a good idea. Even if you do not have money to take care of your child, even if you're just gonna depend on government's grant which holds everyone back, by the way. This is something that a lot of people do not even realize. You know that well the best solution is that I do not bring a conscious agent into this realm because, well, I can't even take care of that conscious agent. I cannot ensure that that conscious agent is going to enjoy the experience. Why bring a conscious agent into a world where they will experience hell? I mean, it's almost guaranteed that if you have nothing, your child is going to suffer. Like, that's, that's almost guaranteed. So, the best solution is to just not have children if you know that you don't have enough to take care of them. But even if you do have enough to be able to take care of them, you must also look at what is going on in the world. You mustn't be so blind that you don't see what is going on in this realm. So you must be conscious enough to see what is really going on in the world and ask yourself, if I brought a conscious agent into this world, into this realm, will that conscious agent enjoy this experience? Won't I be creating more problems by bringing another conscious agent into this reality if things are not really working see it needed to get to a point where as a society we all stop and ask ourselves if this is really working not if we are surviving we are surviving and we are the most dominant species in this thing in this reality
but the reason why we want to have this experience in the first place is to enjoy the experience it's not just about surviving and 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 being dominant that's not what it's about so if a lot of people are not happy if a lot of people are not satisfied if a lot of people feel like slaves if a lot of people are working jobs that they do not like if a lot of people are not doing well that we must ask ourselves what can we do to truly make things better and make decisions that are hard to make but then decisions that are going to make things better in our society you know sometimes the decisions that are hard to make are the right decisions in fact 9 out of 10 times the decisions that are hard to make are the right decisions so the reason why some decisions are hard to make is because human beings are in touch with their emotions you see we let our emotions get in the way of us making the best decisions so if someone says well i don't think you should be having children because well you are sick you are homeless you are unemployed you you have nothing because you feel like you want to you know bring someone in into you know this world and 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 that's going to make you feel better you you feel like that person is wrong you'll be relying on your emotions to make decisions and that's the mistake that um most humans are making if you've watched avenger infinity war you understand what i'm saying like thanos knew that the best decision that they could make in his home planet was to eliminate half of all life but they disagreed because they relied on their emotions like ah no nah, that's wrong that's wrong but he was right he was right so he was banished from his own planet because they thought he was evil because they relied on their emotions to make decisions they didn't realize that no actually we need to think and be realistic sometimes you must push your feelings aside like it doesn't really matter how i feel what is the best decision in this situation you'll know what the best decision is you'll know so <laughs> because thanos was banished from his home planet he wanted to eliminate half of all life everywhere It's like the resource is finite Ev- everything is finite so we need to correct things I thought that was funny but if Thanos was right I don't think that humans would have been able to understand that he was right And just looking at how things are in the world you can see who's right. Because you don't want to live in a world where there's scarcity. And you don't want to live in a world where um, you know people are reproducing even if they know they've nothing to give their children. You don't want to live in a world like that. It doesn't make any sense.
because people are controlled by their emotions because people are too weak to push their emotions aside because your emotions your emotions never really sh make you understand things as they are Your emotions are there to keep you safe. Your emotions are there to help you get what you want in, out of life, right? That's, that's what it's about. It's, your emotions make you selfish. I want you to understand that. You know, there are some situations where even if you want to do something, you don't do it because you know it isn't the best thing to do. But if you just rely on your emotions, you'll do it. That is why there are people who are very horrible and who are committing horrible crimes in the world. These are not strong people. I know some people think, oh, these people are strong. No, they're not strong. They're weak. They're children. You feel horny for an example and you want to rape someone. See, your feelings. Your feelings are controlling you. You need to get to a point where you realize that, hey, that's another conscious being, and I do not want that conscious being to suffer just because of me. I don't want that conscious being to go through hell just because of me. Well, this is little like having children. You're like, I'm lonely. So I'm going to bring another conscious agent into this realm. And they will have to deal with whatever is going on here. Like, no. It's completely unnecessary. If you really want to understand the truth, then it shouldn't care much about how you feel. So the weakest people are the people who are controlled by their emotions. This is how I feel. I feel this way about life. I feel this way about existence. It shouldn't be about how you feel. It should be about what is true. Because if you're just going to be controlled by your feelings, you're going to be very horrible. If it's just about your feelings, like this is how I feel, this is how I feel, and I want to feel this way, and I want to feel that way, you're going to be horrible because we are animals as humans. But what makes us better than other animals even though most humans ain't is our ability to think very deeply and see things as they really are no it's our ability to truly see the truth not just what benefits us because it's, it can never be just about what benefits us it also needs to be about what is best for everyone because if you're just thinking about what benefits you, then you're going to cause a lot of unnecessary suffering, which, which is bad, which is unnecessary. One of the biggest reasons why a lot of people are not able to see the truth is because of their emotions, it's because of their feelings. See, if you have been programmed to feel a certain way, about something like if you grew up your whole life being programmed to feel way about something right you grew up your whole life being programmed to think a certain way there's going to be an emotional attachment 
to you feeling that way, right? It's not like you're going to know why you feel the way that you feel. You've been conditioned to feel that way. Let me give you a um, very simple example. Let's say you grow up believing that uh, Allah is God. And someone said, um, I mean, that might not be true because of the emotional of investment you feel offended i remember when khabib nogamedo fought conor mcgregor conor mcgregor respect this respected his religion so when he beat him he was so angry he jumped out of the octagon like he was so angry because he felt like conor truly disrespected him because he talked about this religion and emotional attachment So it's hard to see the truth. I mean, you cannot convince someone like Habib that no, his religion might not be true. Like he started to believe in a religion that he believes in because his father believed in the same religion. People that he lived with believe in the same religion and he's never really struggled because his father had money. Like he's never really got to stress. I mean, imagine growing up in a family where everyone is a Christian, right? And you never struggle. Things are working out for you. When you pray, things happen. Because, well, you're not struggling. You have everything. You have money. Like, I mean, if you have money, you can do a lot of things. So you think that God is on your side. Well, the truth is that, well, things are just working out for you. I know people who are living in countries where they are suffering, in countries where there's wars, who are Muslims. So it's just about whether... Uh, the conditions you were born into are favorable or not but then if you are born into conditions that are actually favorable you're going to think that your religion is true you know like the guys in Saudi Arabia uh, be thinking that Islam is true but like oh look at how blessed we are like no there are people who believe in the same religion that you believe in who are truly suffering you're not even helping these people so if you never get to truly stress, if you never forced outside of your comfort zone, it's almost impossible for you to see the truth. You're going to see the people who are telling you the truth as as devils. Because some of these people are no longer relying on their emotions now, to some of these people it's no longer about emotions like you know what fuck how I feel I've already felt the worst pain so it's no longer about how I feel right fuck how I feel right now it's about the truth I'm just gonna try to think and figure out what the truth is And because you are still controlled by your emotions, you're going to think these people are bad. Listen to what that guy is saying. He's saying this and that. I feel angry about what he's saying. But you don't know why you feel angry. You don't have a counter argument against what they're saying. You're just relying on your own feelings. You see the problem? That is why when people talk about antinatalism, some people don't understand them. I mean, most people don't understand them, not just some. You tell someone that is true, someone something that is true about antinatalism, they don't get you. They don't get you because of their emotional investment. They will even hate you. You know, like they're just going to feel angry. They will, they will hate you for telling them the truth because of their emotional invest, investment. A lot of people don't even realize how much they've invested emotionally on their beliefs. You know, a lot of people don't even realize that.
what you must understand about humans is that we're selfish just like any other animal but we can think we can see our own flaws so if i'm selfish if really i want to know the truth about myself i'll be able to realize that i'm selfish Is it? Because I want to know the truth about myself. I don't think other animals are able to realize that. I don't think a lion would realize when it's being selfish. But humans can realize when they're being selfish. If they think deeply enough the reason why people who have dealt with depression in their life or people who are dealing with depression are able to see things as they are is because they've always been feeling pain right like let, let me i want to show you something let's say let me give you an example with khabib again so khabib grows up in a family where everyone is a muslim and his father is there for him his mother is there for him his father is very successful everyone knows him he doesn't stress a lot right so if you tell him something that makes him stress because he doesn't stress a lot he's going to think you're a bad person but if khabib grew up in a place where he was truly suffering where he had to fend for himself he had no one helping him he would ask himself the deepest questions because he's already feeling pain so already because because he's already in pain he He's not afraid of feeling pain because he's already in pain so he's able to think now it's kind of like people who pee themselves in the rain like well i'm already wet so who cares so it's kind of like that it's like you're already in pain so thinking doesn't make you feel worse you're already feeling enough pain so you can think you're not suffering by thinking because already you're suffering. Does that make sense? So that's the thing. But if things have been working out in your life and you never got to think, you never got to think outside the box, thinking is going to be painful. You know, the truth is going to be painful. When you hear the truth, you're going to feel pain and you're going to hate the messenger. You see? Someone tells you that, hey, we're bringing non-consenting individuals into this realm and there's a lot of suffering. Or there's a lot of things that are happening that just don't make sense. So it's not best to do that. I mean, that's obviously true. That isn't something that should be debated by any rational-minded individual. But people are going to rely on their emotions. Like, oh, how do I feel about what is being said? Okay, I do not feel good about what is being said. And because I don't feel good about what's being said, then I must hate the messenger. You see the problem? That is why a lot of people who are unconscious hate people who speak the truth. You know, truth makes people feel uncomfortable.
I keep on saying that if you truly want to be hated by people, speak the truth. But I encourage you to speak the truth even if you're going to be hated by people. You want to know why? Because I want you to see the truth. You speak the truth, people are going to hate you and you will see that people do hate you when you speak the truth. See? You really want to see the world as it really is. You don't want to speculate. You don't want to rely on what other people are saying. You have to experience the truth for yourself. You have to tell someone something that is so true that they shouldn't actually be able to deny it. But then you see them hating you and talking shit about you. That must happen to you so that you'll see how things really work. How the human mind works. How the human brain works. I think it is good to experience the truth because that's also make that also makes you wiser. And you need to be wise. You don't need to think like a monkey. I mean monkeys are kinda like intelligent. But you, 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 you need to be wiser. Thank you all guys.